Hi, um, Max Blaska. My name is Max Blaska, and I'm an American citizen um, making a blog addressing the Iranian people. Um, this is going to be a short blog because, for some unknown reason, YouTube stops recording uh, after five minutes. Um, this is addressed to President Rouhani as well as Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, probably mispronouncing it, and the Iranian people. It's an apology for my leaders, including my senator, Ron Johnson, for the letter that they sent you, the arrogant letter that they sent you, the almost treasonous letter that they sent you. You have to understand that doesn't represent the American people. It represents a sizable minority of the American people, but not the American people at large. We don't want war with you. We don't want another war. And they do for two reasons. One, the neocons. Actually, three. The neocons, the uh, idea of nation building and remaking the world in our democratic model. Excuse me. John McCain is an example of this, but he also doesn't understand the difference between Shia and Sunni. Um, basically, they believe that you help create ISIS, but ISIS is kind of an offshoot of Al-Qaeda, which is primarily uh, Sunni, Wahhabi uh, form of, of Islam propagated by Saudi Arabia, and they don't seem to understand this. And the military-industrial complex, where whenever there's a war, their stocks go up. We're probably, I, I wonder if we're one of the only countries that basically has an economic incentive to go to war. Um, but the third, the religious conservatives. We have a fundamentalist problem in America, and Senator Tom Cotton is a fundamentalist Christian, and they believe in end times theology. They believe that there will be a seven-year tribulation, there will be an antichrist, uh, there will be a war between Israel and the, her neighboring countries. Um, I would read Ezekiel uh, 38, 39, um, and then the Antichrist, who is a world leader or leader of world affairs, will make a treaty and then break it after three and a half years. They want Jesus to come back. Um, it's kind of kind of similar to um, the um, end times theology you have about the 12th Imam um, returning with Jesus. But I am a Christian, and I want Jesus to come back as much as the next guy, but I, I don't want it to come because of our own stupidity. And you can, if you get this video, you can broadcast it. Heck, I mean, you can use me as propaganda. I don't care. The Republicans can call me treasonous, but I don't want this. And the thing is, historically, we would probably be friends and you would be a democratic, a fully democratic nation if it wasn't for the coup in the 1950s and installing the Shah. But please, we don't want war. We have fundamentalist hardliners in our country. There are fundamentalist hardliners in your country. And please, I don't believe you want a nuclear bomb. Because one, you know, with Israel and their secret nuclear arsenal, uh, they could wipe you off the map. And also, why would you nuke Israel knowing that as many Palestinians would be killed? You're not suicidal. You're not Al-Qaeda. So... 
I just wanted to let you know, this is where I stand, and you have to know about the religious right in, in all this. So please, just do not take the bait. Um, thank you.